Welcome back everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hydroneer. Whoa, I'm driving like an idiot again. And now I'm literally stuck, I cannot get it out. Oh, 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 I can, I can, I can get out. But I need to do it very slowly. If I press the uh, back button first and then the rotation button, it doesn't rotate. It's a lot of small work. You cannot steer and rotate at the same time. There is some collision issue with the wheels, I think. It drives fast. It does what it needs to do. But as soon as you need it in the corner, then it just gets stuck. It's not powerful enough to get it going. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm stuck. Is the money still in there? Yes. Man, rotation backwards is not possible. Look at the slow amount of movement for the same thing. Well, the, 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 I think just the engine is not strong. Well, it's running on water, so... Why doesn't it turn when I click the turn button? Man, this is truck is really killing me. As soon as I can ignore the truck, which I possibly can never do, it would be a nice thing. <laughs> Let me get an airplane running on water! No. It's stupid to have an airplane in a water world. It's like a, a little bit of fantasy world, but also a little bit of realism in it as well. It's a medieval team, so. Break, 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 break. I'm like breaking for like, let's say, at the start of that ro the road, so truck is really heavy, so heavy that it has a very big problem with moving around on normal speeds and braking like a normal truck does. Now let me combine these two and put it in, and let me get a staff because the staff has a big range. There we go. Like all our money is gone now. But at least it's, it's supposed to, when I click and hold, it attracts the gold to watch my stuff so I can get it out of holes and doing those things. This is the grinder, by the way, which you can put in between the input of the harvester and the elevator for the digger. And that's not fun thing I'm gonna do today. I do get the money out now and take a look at the bigger foundations. Maybe we can purchase some and take with us. Oh, I need to do it correctly. The bigger foundations are over here. They cost 40 to get. But they do deliver like four. What just happened? There's just one here. So let me just move this one to the uh, back of the truck. Maybe we can get it in here. Well, if it stays that way, I might greet it on it. Let me get another one. This is the second one. I can use this one to replace the other foundations. This one is going in the right way. Now let's get another one. Like getting four or five of these will increase my way of doing things a lot. This means that we can put a lot more on a solid surface instead of yeah, ruining myself. Whoop, this one is falling out. That's, that's correct. Now it's in there. Getting a lot of stuff is great. This also has a, ru a wooden floor, so if you want to make a second floor or something, I think. Like multiple floor bases or... I really like building a, a house or something that has multiple floors with a factory building in it. So you can go to the factory and then look at all the gold passing by and then... Yeah, those things. It's a big dream of me. Of doing that. It costs a lot of cash to do so. 
every belt, for example, is like 200 or 300 to place down. And that's a lot of money for what you get back. Um, how much do you have left? Gonna put some fish traps. Let's just try some fish traps while we are doing it. Since uh, fish traps will give us free fish, which we can sell also for a small amount of money. And since the stock market there is uh, including fish in its purchases, I think it's worth a try. See if it ever gives us the, the amount we need. Like three fish traps is nice to have and it doesn't cost anything of time or something close to it. I think it's launched, right? No. Okay. Okay. Calm down. What just happened? One of my fish pots was glitched out in the wheel. But that's not something that I want them to do. There we go. Now let's head back home, shall we? Luckily, driving straight backwards is way more easy than driving in a corner backwards. But it does its job. We can get out of here the more easy way than on our plane side. If we are going to our base and we need to rotate there, it's a lot of more trouble than turning, uh, than going straight. Once again, I drove again the land post. Seriously, if the government of this place is getting angry at me, I understand. I'm literally driving everything to smithereens with this truck. So, let's take a look on where we're gonna end up building all those foundations. Because I do not want to cover the entire dirt area, because I need to dig there. Although, when it's placed the foundation, you can dig underneath. Ooh, dilemmas. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Let's first just get the foundation out. And give it a nice spot. See? It's worth four of those smaller ones. So now I can uh, sooner or later... Oh no. That thing is alive, yeah? Yeah. So, um, let me just put everything on top here. Now I have a free area over here, so I can put uh, two of these like here. So that we can, can expand the area that we are working on. Of course. I put buckets on top and then just launch into the hole on the bottom. Look what I found. Hiding gold. Yes, it's in there now. Good. Now, get the next foundation piece. It's not very realistic flying foundations, but it does what it needs to do. And I can make walls eventually sticking into the ground so you cannot see them flying. That's also a good thing to note. Put it here. Let's do the, all the side areas so we can... That's the last one. There we go. We have a foundation now, so we can walk around more without kicking everything like everywhere it doesn't need to be. So we can at least store this one here now, so it's on the correct spot. Let me get my hammer so I can secure them and unsecure that one. So I can place you here. There we go. Now we can move around a little bit more. We are pretty high up off the ground, so if you fall off, uh, it's not easy to get back on. So, let me turn off the machine over here, since it burned through like most of the 
new thingy thing. Now let me get this cauldron out. Let me just melt this. And make it into uh, something, I think. And let me get the other bucket so we can sort it out. So it's, it's worth a try, at least. Bang. Next to me, on the other side. It's iron. Let me get this pen here. It's also iron, also iron, also iron. I think we get a lot of iron. There we go. I think that if we ever add another disorder here on this uh, system setup, then we certainly need another iron uh, sorting thingy thing. Look at the amount of shards it found. Dang, it's a lot of shards. Let's put this one back on its place. It's in there. Now, let me get another empty uh, thing so I can at least turn the system back on. This one is not empty. So. And let me put it into place over here. There we go. And now turn it all on again. It, uh, let me see if it goes in. Yes, it, it definitely goes in on this side. And uh, it goes in on this side as well now. There we go. The gold bar on top, however, looks like a pretty big gold bar. And I hope that it has a lot of cash holding it. But you never know until it's, uh, whoop, until it's there. Well, we have things to do, like sorting all this uh, stuff out. A lot of gems again. Well, I know for sure now that the gems are not worth a lot on the stock market. Maybe they are worth more on the other market, the jeweler. I don't know until I'm uh, far enough to say something like that. Let me put this on the fire and grab another one. Maybe you can make a sword this time, like splitting it out into three parts so we can make a sword. Maybe a sword is more worth more than other stuff because it contains three ignits. No idea. I must say the chunks are a bit bigger than they were before. I must say that for sure. I think that the, the, the nuggets that are coming out of the machine are indeed bigger now. So you get more of it even though it's slower at producing whatever it's producing. And I have literally a lot of shards. Let me put another shard in this thing. See, it's almost empty. There we go. That way it keeps on going. Ooh, this is a big one. Let me see. Let me try to get all the... Uh, and cut gems out of there. Then uh, and cut gems there. Holy crabby patty. We just flew on a cauldron. On a crucible, sorry, wrong language. 
And I did literally get an exploding effect again. Dang it. Well, this is part for the magnet staff. And we have built, uh, purchased a magnet staff now. And we also can put the fishing pots into place, by the way. And then put it on the right side of the uh, stone so we do not hit any um, gold nuggets there. Because there are gold nuggets in there, then uh, they will get stuck underneath the fishing threads. Make a separate uh, a few fishing traps. So. Like three of them is, I think, for now enough for us. Maybe we can find a lot of fish. No clue, but we will find out that eventually if they are worth a lot or not. I have no clue if they are worth a lot or not. Good, now what happens if I click this button? Oh goodness. It is getting the gold. Oh dang. Follow the stick. I did not I did not um, click anything. Well, at least it's out of the ground now. The more we can get out of this hole, the better. All small pieces of gold should be out of here. No! It may not fall out again. I said no falling. Okay. Now I'm gonna stand here and hopefully collect it this way. Can I do the one as well? Why does it drop it? Why does it keep dropping those things? There we go. Is there anything left in this hole? Yep. A few gold nuggets. There we go. Those are out of the hole now. Let me get a pan to put it all in. If they are combined, you can get more out of a hole than before. Otherwise, we would have been searching, climbing, searching, climbing, and now they are all on the above area, so we can get more out of it. Talking about getting things out, I need to get the crucible out of it first. And I need to remember never to do something like throwing around a bucket into another thing, even though you think it's almost empty. It's more handy not to do that, than to do that. There we go, and now oops, put this one away here. This one pour. Put it down somewhere. Get it off again, get it here. There we go. Now, this is full of gems. Let me put it aside for now. 
Um, let me get the staff so I can collect all the iron into one place. Or let me just enter the river here. See, there's a lot of gold in here. Let me put it on the edge here. So let me just enter it here and then go backwards from here. Just moving around some more. The more gold we can get out of this uh, area, the better. Did I just saw a chunk flying? Oh no. What in the lazy works? I was not paying attention. At all, there is a, a clock stuck there. And I think it's the best thing we can do is soon enough improve the whole system over here. Maybe move it around a bit. Like moving it to another location. So we can, like for example, build a foundation over here on this pot air. And build the whole machine on it instead of next to it. The clocks are shooting like everywhere. Some nuggets can be put in here, some uh, of those uh, dirt balls. Just a matter of finding the right size. Maybe you can purchase a uh, backpack soon, of uh, a pickaxe soon, sorry. Let me just get on here. But I will end up the episode right here. I thank you all for watching and hopefully see you in the next one. Good luck!